in today's video i want to touch on a very sensitive topic and that is the genetic modified organisms the gmo i will discuss what are genetic modified organisms and to be specific what are genetic modified plants how does uh, the genetic these genetic modified plants like corn and soya bean which are used in poultry feed affect layer and broiler chicken as compared to commercial feeds that we use right now. I will also tell you the advantages of the genetic modified plants and the disadvantages or the challenges that are hindering the acceptance of genetic modified plants in some countries. The big question is, are these genetic modified plants safe for our chickens and our health? Have enough research been done yet? How does these genetic modified plants, ingre uh, plant ingredients used in poultry feed affect production? And if these genetic modified plants can help to lower the cost of poultry feed, why are some countries still reluctant to accepting these genetic modified plants and the genetic modified organisms? To get answers to all these questions and much more, make sure that you stick with me throughout the video. And if you haven't subscribed to us, our channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video also if you like this video make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and in the comment section below tell me what you think about the genetic modified organisms do you think that is it fit for them to be used for the animal feeds or even for human food leave your comment in the comment section below to understand what is gmo you must understand what is a gene a gene is the basic physical and functional unit of heredity. A gene is found in each and every cell and it carries the information of how each and every cell is going to develop physically and function physiologically. Therefore, what scientists do in the genetic modified organisms is that a gene is taken, for example, a gene of maize is altered using another gene, for example, uh, from a bacteria and through the genetic engineering techniques uh, this gene is altered, uh, the gene of maize is altered to produce the desired physical development and physiological function. And now that you have a rough idea of what, is, what are genetic modified organisms, let us discuss now the genetic modified plants and the chicken. Many plants that have been developed, uh, that have been genetically modified include the maize, uh, the wheat, the cotton, and also uh, the soya beans. These plants are the major feed ingredients when it comes to poultry feed formulation. I am going to take you through how these genetically modified plant-based poultry feed, and especially soya bean and the maize, have affected the growth performance and productivity in layers and also in the broiler. A certain study was done in layers to test for the effect of the genetically modified maize uh, versus the commercial maize that we use. And it was found that the, the hen performance and egg quality was not affected whether you fed the genetically modified maize or, it, or the commercial maize. It was also found out that the carcass weight and the organ weight uh, of the layers was not affected by these rations. Also, there was no dysfunctions of any organ in the chicken's that were fed with the genetically modified corn. Another research was based on the performance of laying hens fed with the diet contain, containing at the DAS 59-122-7 maize, maize grains. These are the genet this is a genetic modified maize compared with the diet containing non-transgenic maize grain or the commercial grains uh, that we use and it was found out that there was similar body weight gain and feed efficiency efficiency and also the feed intake in between the hens that were fed the genetically modified maize and also to those that were fed this commercial maize egg production was also similar between the two diets another study was done on layers and they were fed with the genetically uh, modified maize and soya bean versus um, the 
control that is the maize and soya beans that are non-genetic modified and also this research showed similar results that is the body weight gain and the feed intake we are not affected and the egg production and feed efficiency was also uh, not affected. The egg grading and the egg cracking data comparison are produced by the hens that were fed with the genetically modified maize and soybeans to those uh, that were fed at the control. Uh, there, there was no significant difference. In all these studies, it was also found out uh, that the composition of the key nutrients in the genetic modified brain, grains and in the non-genetic modified grains, that is the amino acids, the calcium, the phosphorus and the energy, we are similar. There were no significant differences. For example, you can see here that on, the, on this table, the live weight was similar or was almost similar throughout uh, this study and also the dressing weight the eviscerated weight you can see that there's no significant difference also in the carcass characteristics like the abdominal fat the breast the thigh it can be concluded that there is no significant differences between the hens that were fed on the genetically modified grains to those that uh, were fed on the and the non-genetically modified maize about the egg weight if you look uh, on the table, you can see that the egg weight, the egg production percentage, the egg mass, the feed intake, the feed efficiency, the numbers are almost close together. This means that the, the difference is insignificant. Uh, studies has, uh, have also been done in broilers. And after this research, uh, the results are also similar to those of the rears. There were no significant differences in the final body weight, the weight gain, the organ yield, and the carcass yield. As observed uh, between the broilers that were fed the genetically modified maize and soya beans to those uh, that were fed with the commercial maize and soya bean. For example, on this table of the growth performance, you can see that uh, there is the control and there is the genetically modified maize and soya bean. And you can see that the final weight at day 42 in grams uh, for the control it was 17. Uh, that 1.4 grams and for the gen genetically modified maize and soybean it was 17 at uh, that 1.3 th you can see that there's no significant difference also the mortality rates are the same the feed conversion ratio has a difference of, of 0 0.07 therefore as similar to the data that we have seen in the layers there is no significant difference and now that we have seen this, that there is no difference in composition and the effect of these genetically modified plant-based poultry feeds to the commercial feeds to the commercial feeds that we use, what are the advantages of these genetic modified plants, and what are the disadvantages that are hindering some countries from accepting these genetically modified plants? Uh, some of the advantages of the genetically modified plants is that they are insect resistance. This means that the destruction by insect can be decreased. Number two is that they tolerate herbicides. Therefore, this will lead to, you know, easier weed control methods. Number three is that they, they have the ability to grow in varying climatical conditions. Number four is that these genetic modified plants, they grow faster and produce more than the ones that we have right now. And the last advantage is that these genetically modified plants, they have decreased reliance on the chemical pesticides and this helps the maize growers and to decrease the cost of pro, uh, the cost of production as uh, some of the disadvantages of these genetically modified uh, organisms is that number one is the unintended impact other negative impacts of these genetically modified organisms is that they can bring about the antibiotic resistance genes to the human microflora which is a negative effect to our health also uh, these genetically modified plants can introduce horizontal and vertical gene transfer uh, which have been tested to decrease viability of offsprings and this is a research that was done in fish the other thing is about is about economic consequences there is an argument that the large scale farmers who can afford these genetically modified plants they are going to buy a lot and plant in their large farms and therefore they are going to get all the market share uh, from the small scale farmers who cannot be able you know, to buy the expensive uh, um, genetically modified seeds.
The other major thing that is hindering the acceptance of genetically modified organisms is the religion and the belief because some people believe uh, that the genetic makeup of organisms should be let to thrive naturally. It should not be interfered with. Make sure that you hit uh, the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how to boost the growth performance of your chickens by feeding them on the black soldier fly meal.